So I'm here with um, with Andrew Smith and, and Scott Price uh, from R and R Smith at the Rookwood site, where we these guys are hosting our, our cover crop trial. And um, I'm keen to get their perspective on the sustainability of, of apple or, ap apple orcharding, and also the sustainability of, of, of being an apple grower into the future. Um, so Andrew, uh, yeah, thanks for joining us today, mate. And uh, yeah, perhaps you can tell us a little bit about um, you know, why you're why you're doing what you're doing and and the sustainability practices that, that you've adopted for your farm and uh, how you see that in going into the future. Yeah, okay, thanks Nigel. Look, there's no, not really one specific reason why we did this. Um, coming into the industry in the late 80s and early 90s, it was pretty evident to me that our distance from major markets was a massive impediment. And as we evolved as a first world economy, you know, the cost of production was, was gonna really impact on our ability to be able to grow and survive in the industry emerging economies were always going to win as they do and so uh, I uh, after a trip uh, uh, to Europe and then and then a few years on the orchard really started to think about um, creating a point of difference and being able to um, do more than just be a commodity apple producer so for me it was about uh, value adding uh, it was about creating a point of difference and it was about being able to create a brand where people would potentially come and buy our product uh, under a, a, an audited food safety process. So sure. for, for us, organic is not using synthetic products. It's, uh, it's constant auditing and, and justifying what you do and how you do it. And then it's, uh, it's being able to hopefully uh, be able to communicate that to the end consumer and build some loyalty in the supply chain. Yeah, sure. Um, and Pricey, I mean, you've been you've been at this site for a very long time, and you've been a grower for, for a long time. What do you see as some of the changes that have happened in the industry over the last, you know, uh, so many years, and, and particularly more recently, that has led to um, you know sustainable apple growing and and that ability to reach the consumer and, and tell that good story? Yeah, well, thanks, Nigel. Yeah, well, I've, I've been in this game since 1978, so I've seen the era when we had some quite um, heavy chemical usage mm. um, and we've weaned off that in the conventional game quite considerably over those years. Uh, there were 360 odd growers when I started in this game which was way less than what there was probably in the 60s and 50s. Um, I think we're down to 45 apple growers in Tasmania now and I think right. there's five apple growers that only grow apples. So there's been a huge change in the industry and look there's more changes to come. But that's part of the amazing ability of the apple industry to evolve and mm. change. Mm. And if you don't change, you won't last. Mm. So a part of the change going forward, and it's what the world's demanding, is a cleaner product, mm. um, product assu uh, assurity that mm. they know it's safe. And I think it's not just not apples. We're mm. talking apples now, I know, but it's it's across mm. all horticultural sectors. Yes, all absolutely. Sectors. Yeah.